This video will be about method two for paragraph styles and character styles. So the second method, well, we just did the first method, and when we did the first method, we decided ahead of time what the specs would be for our main title set, side headings and body copy. And the second method just means that uh, you're visually deciding as you go and then creating the style afterward. So the opposite order. So let's do the first one here. We'll, we'll keep the main one as Times New Roman. And we'll just use our shift control and our greater than key until let's say we find a size that we like and once we like it let's even stick an underline on there once we like it we come over to paragraph styles and you can see that right now it has this little plus because it knows that we changed some features compared to the basic paragraph so but we're going to click here and define a new style and this is going to be our main title paragraph style. We'll, we won't base it on anything. And we will apply it, the style, to the section, or to the selection, sorry. So when we come here, the difference is this time, because we have something already specced here, it turns up here. And everything that we've done shows up here. It's not that we can't still add something more. We could. And as long as we have this checked, we say OK, everything's done. So same thing, let's do a side heading. And we'll select that. Actually, in this case, I'm not sure we have to select the whole thing because this is our paragraph. Well, actually, because we're doing it by example, we do need to select it in order to change it for the first time around. So we'll stick with Arial and we'll stick with 24 points, just like we've said in here. And we can do any amount of things here. We could make it side caps. And once we have it looking like we want it. I think this has to be smaller. And then we go over here and new paragraph style, side heading, base it on just no paragraph style. You can see the settings right here, Arial 18 and small caps, apply it to the selection. And when we say OK, you will see that this side heading has been applied here. And we know that if I click off into this body copy, it goes back to the basic paragraph. If I click in here to the main title, it shows me the style that has been applied. Now for the body copy. Uh, so we will uh, say Minion Pro 14. So just one little change here. And then we would come over here, and again, we would have the style, make sure it's applied. All the formats that we used will be here already, and we can say, just make sure that it's applied, and say OK. And then after that, we can just put our cursor into that paragraph, and I believe that I forgot call this the correct name. So I'm going to double click and come back here. This is going to be called body copy. So we'll come here and apply it. And here and apply it. Now when we get here and we have more than one paragraph, this time we do need to select a little piece of each paragraph in order to do it in one one go. Uh, I would also need to come and apply these side heading styles here. 
but again, the point is that the benefit is that once you have these formatted, that from that point on, your changes can be global. So if you decide that every paragraph needs a bit of space, we can come to the body copy, come into indents and spacing, put a little bit of space after, and say OK, and it's globally changed for you.